8. Now that I've got this, I need to populate the city dimension. We said that that's going to have an ID column, which is its primary key. We said that it's going to have the city name. And then we also said that it's going to have the state ID. Okay, so in this example, it would be one, the city would be uh, city X, and the state ID would be one. Then it would have two, it'd be city Z, and the state ID would be one. All right, so this is what our target table should look like. So how do we do that? We said that here, to get a list of states, we would run a select distinct on this, right? How in the heck do we get a list of cities, and then so and then we get which state ID is associated with the city? The city. So here's what we would do. The first thing that we could do is we could first get a, a distinct list of all cities, right? But if we did that, what would be the problem with getting a distinct list of all cities in the United States? Yes? Multiple cities in multiple different states? Same city, like, my first name is Clinton, right? Well, there's like, what, four or five different cities in different states in the United States that the city's name is Clinton, right? So running a select here is not really going to give it to us. Right? So what we've got to be able to do is we've got to be able to essentially determine all right, a distinct le list of cities and states. So if it gave us the distinct name of city comma state, that would give us a list and we ordered it by, by state, right? That would give us a distinct list of cities along with its states. So you should see, um, you know, a city X Alaska and a city X uh, Texas, let's say. So we would have to expand that distinct list. Now, from that distinct list, we would have to determine what ID is associated with that state. All right? And from that, you'll see this next week in SQL code. We're not going to focus on the SQL code like tonight. But if you could just imagine, you would end up constructing a SQL query that would get a distinct list, list of cities combined with the state. And from that, we would determine the ID associated with that state. And we go to add these cities in. We would insert both the state ID associated with it. So during this, we would have to do a join, right? There would be a, a distinct, a select distinct on this of city and state. We would do a join where state equals state, get the number one, and insert that into the state ID for the associated city. So there's a select and a join on this, but we can't begin to put the one here unless the one is generated here first, right? All right, so then we populate the city, okay? Now, the year would be done the same way. To get the year, we would do select distinct on year, and that would give us, I think it's uh, 2006, seven, and eight. So the year would look like this, though. Okay, so it would be an ID, it would be the year, and then it would be the Chinese New Year. Now, we would say this year is really only, say, three years here. Okay? So we would have one, two, three. It'd be 2006, 2007, 2008. And I think it, I don't know if it's like the rat, the pig, and the dog, I think. I can't remember if that's right. But 
You would get the Chinese New Year. Now, that's what it's going to look like, but how do we get that? How do we get that? Well, it's easy first to get a list of years. Now, this is the primary key. It's auto-generated. Primary key, it's auto-generated. Remember, all these keys here are auto-generated. You know there's like an auto-increment setting for SQL uh, columns that you could set that sets it as an identity column. Okay, by one. All right, so what we would have to do is we would then, since it's only three columns, we could, if it was a lot of data we had to update, we'd have to get an external CSV from whatever the source is and then run it the same way. But we would just basically, first we would build the year table, give us a distinct list of 2006, 7, and 8, and then we would have to say an update. Update um, year table, um, you know, where, 2000, where the year equals 2006, set the uh, Chinese New Year to the rat, right? where the year is 2007, set the Chinese year, New Year to the pig, uh, pig, and so forth. All right, so now that we've built out our dimensions, we have completed step one. 